battery bus bars come in all shapes and sizes. I haven't used one of these before. Let's see how it gets on compared to what I normally use. So these are what I've used up until now, other than uh, the only exception where um, I made my shopping cart battery using uh, bits of wire and also lugs. Uh, it was a work of art, but an expensive way to do it. But uh, these here are what I normally use now for building batteries. Again, these are standard bus bars that you'd get. They've got a slightly larger uh, hole there to allow for sort of adjustment there as well when you're setting them up. And uh, there's a smaller version of there. Obviously, they come in all shapes and sizes. And what I have, uh, or what I will say about these, is these are obviously cheaper per, per unit than these, obviously, because there's a lot more going on with these. But uh, I suppose the advantage is, is these are nice and thin. So um, if you've got fairly small or not that long terminal posts uh, on your batteries, um, these obviously take up less room so you can get uh, lugs or anything else on top easier so you don't need very long uh, terminal posts. Uh, the advantage with this is it's really flexible so again it's, it's, not, it's actually quite tight as well so once you put it obviously it expands out as you can see there um, and you can push it back in it's just like a standard sort of braid metal braid on there so it gives you all that flexibility so if things are moving and I specifically got these for my B grade cells uh, that video is now being suggested uh, where I got those uh, duff cells uh, ordered and uh, they turned up they were damaged in transit and also uh, not very good quality cells so I had a lot of bulging going on uh, when they were near high state of charge and obviously terminal damage, uh, sorry, terminal post damage on that as well. So I wanted to try and find something where I didn't need to drill one of these because again, these are in good shape. I didn't really want to start messing about with those. So I wanted to try something completely different. So the advantage is that obviously with this is the flexibility, but um, the other thing you need to be aware of if you do go this route is you've got to get the exact terminal post size. So this one here is um, something that I needed to make sure was bang on so that I could fit it onto uh, my batteries that uh, I'll show you shortly how I've set them up, how I run it with these and how I run it with these now. And um, yeah, so these are obviously a lot thicker. So the disadvantage with these is the fact that you need to be careful when it comes to using uh, terminal posts that aren't that long or even standard size. So it means you can't stack many above. So if I was to go ahead and do um, sort of my normal top balance, I'd use these here because these I couldn't actually fit more than one on top because as you can see, if you put two together, that's very sizable amount there on a, any terminal post. But again, these normally come packaged like this. I think I bought these in 15s, but again, these are more expensive uh, than these, but I think the flexibility that there's just another option really. So I'll just show you the setup that I've got on my sort of dump batteries just to show you the difference. So here's one of my dump batteries, and obviously I'm using the, the half of the uh, cells on this uh, to make up a 24 volt one. And uh, as you can see, I'm using the flat uh, bus bars on uh, this one. And uh, this is why I wanted to try out the flexible braided uh, bus bars, because obviously these give plenty of room between the cells. So it covers off any of the bulging that I've seen with these clearly B grade cells. Uh, and also the problem that I'm trying to solve is where some of these terminal posts were damaged as part of delivery as well. So uh, that's why I'm uh, giving the uh, other ones a go. But uh, yeah, these have worked perfectly. And the, the thing is, I didn't really want to drill holes in these because they're working perfectly and they're really good to use on other cells. So the more sort of normal style prismatic cells that I do because they're really good for top balancing because you can connect multiple together and uh, these thinner set these thinner bus bars are a lot easier to connect together in that front which obviously is not as easy with the braided ones but uh, yeah that's one of them so uh, I'll show you what the uh, other one looks like with the uh, new bus bars. So here's the uh, second dump battery here, 24 volt one. And um, this is where I've just started using these, uh, well, primarily the reason I got these particular bus bars, these braided flexible ones, was so I could use them on here, so I could get the cells close together, because obviously when they're further apart, it's got a bigger floor print, but um, uh, this normally is covered up, but obviously I've taken it off so you can have a look at it uh, just so that you can see the way it works. But again, it provides that flexibility. You know, I mean, they don't move anywhere near that much. 
but it gives you an idea that you know you can once you've got this and I'm going to probably box this up um, so that there is plenty of flexibility when these things bulge uh, when they get to the top of sort of the state of charge so um, yeah so far so good and the other thing I'm also going to do as well is because uh, there's so much flexibility obviously they're a little bit tighter when they're new but you can bend them around a bit and I'm going to cover them in some heat shrink as well so uh, it gives me the option just to make sure there's less sort of metal showing even though they're going to be boxed up at some point but yeah that's uh, worked really well on here and again I can reduce the gaps to whatever gaps I want between just by pushing them together and then once I've got the proper boxing set up but again it counts for all the bent posts that uh, arrived like that due to shipping and the way they were shipped and dropped obviously when they were uh, shipped and that but yeah that's the long and the short of it and these are obviously the thicker ones you can get these a lot thinner but yeah so far so good they've worked really well and again they give me that real flexibility just on this dump battery so they might work for stuff that you may have um, where you haven't got great cells perhaps b grade cells where you want to put them together and uh, you need that little bit of extra flexibility so you haven't got to drill or cut anything else so here's one of them that I've just slipped over the heat shrink. I've not applied the heat just yet because obviously I want to get it in the right position before I do so because again it will make it a little bit stiffer and more difficult to move but obviously still maintain its flexibility. So when I go to do uh, these then that's uh, good once I get them in their final box and that I can get that sorted, get the heat shrink on. I'll probably have to get a bigger piece because these, this is obviously very close to the limit. Obviously I haven't even applied heat to that and it's, it was pretty tight to get on so I need to get bigger ones to go on this particular uh, setup I've got here. But yeah, that should cover it off. And again, it's just an option if you've got uh, B grade cells or a difficult uh, DIY battery setup that you might need the extra flexibility that these provide for not much more money than a standard set of reasonable quality flat plate uh, bus bars there. So uh, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, just pop them in the section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Dad Vinci.